Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft episode of M. Selene on Minecraft. And right now I'll be showing you the newest Minecraft snapshot, 14W03B. And this is a snapshot from Minecraft 1.8. And I'm going to get right into this update and show you how it works and what is added. So, first of all, I want to show you this. This is one of the newest things. Um, This just came out in the snapshot that came out today, I'm pretty sure. This is a new skin customization. Um, settings here and it adds the cape jacket left sleeve right sleeve left pant leg and right pant leg and hat all these right here so you can customize them say you don't want to show your legs or whatever you want to do your hat like say you don't like your hat and you want to take it off simply just press this button it will turn it off so it's really customizable and it actually I'm pretty sure this works on servers so it's a really cool way to customize your skin so that's a nice thing that they added. Now I'm going to get right into the world that shows you the newest blocks that were added and other commands. And I'll be right back. Here we are in the world that I'm going to be using to show you this new update. And as you can see, there's all these crafting recipes for the new blocks that are here. So right here is the slime block one of the coolest ones added this is probably the most popular one added because it's got this really cool unique thing so you're literally just using nine slime balls to craft this and it's only one of these blocks not the whole thing i just kind of put it in this three by three shape um... that goes for all the other ones But once you get the block you simply just you can just hop on it and it actually just makes you it makes you bounce higher but I'm creative so it's it keeps trying to make me fly which is but if you just double tap the jump button in survival it's a lot easier in survival because it tries to make you fly and creative but um anyway it's it's like it's pretty much like soul sand because you walk really slow on it like you would on soul sand but I think it's a little slower than soul sand look how slow this is because it's supposed to be you sticking inside of the slime because slime is supposed to be sticky Sorry for this lag. I don't know exactly why this is happening, but it's it's just really laggy. It's really weird. Um, this is a tough block to make because you need you need this block right here to craft granite. So this is granite right here. You actually need th this diorite block over here to craft this, and you're gonna need an extra nether quartz. So as you can see, this already uses two nether quartz and two cobblestone to craft this block. You're going to need to do that. Then put that into a crafting table with another piece of nether quartz which will craft which will craft a granite block. So the smooth the polished version of this block is four four of these put into a crafting table and they all have to be next to each other and um it does give you four, so it's not like you're wasting anything. It's going to give you four, so you're really not wasting anything unless you want to use some of it on other blocks. So it's pretty, pretty much, pretty much costs nothing if you already have the blocks. So over here, I've already showed this crafting recipe. It's two cobble and two nether quartz in a checkered design, just for two by two over here, and um. It's a really nice block, as you can see. These blocks are really nice. I like the polished granite. Granite looks pretty cool, too. This is Doyerite, I think that's what they call it. This is the polished version, which uses four and gives you four, like I said with the other block. This one's different. You need one of these blocks here, and cobble right here, and it gives you, uh, I forget exactly what this is called, andesite. And this is a really cool block, because it's kind of like, I don't know, I, I like the design of it. It's a really nice block. And then, the pol of course, the polished version is the same thing, like, as I like said. So this is a new lock chest that was added to the to the um, snapshot. Really cool, but it's kind of useless unless you're in adventure mode. This is why. So, right now, I'm going to show you how this works. I simply put this command in here that makes a lock chest, which I I can set the password to here. I just set it to Emsley as an example. But to open it, there's a certain way. So I'm going to press this button, and it's going to lock the chest. So if I go into it, it says the target block is not a holder, data holder block. Hmm. Something got messed up. We'll be right back. Something went weird. Alright, I'm back. And 
there was something wrong with the system here, and I just fixed the problem. Um, there's a command in this command block that locks a chest, which is a flash block data, the coordinates of that chest right there, and block password. So I said to M. Cellini, um, it used to be a negative one, which that didn't work. So if it doesn't work, you just put the coordinates in. So I fixed that problem, and the next step in doing this is to name an item the password of your chest lock. So I use a gold nugget because I think the gold nugget looks like a key, sort of. It's the closest thing I could find to a key. So I put it in here, and I rename it to something else. Um, oh, it would be renamed to Emsolini because because um, that's the password of the chest. So now, before I show you how, how it works when it opens, I'm going to right click on the chest, and you can see it says chest is locked. And if I use this this key right here, which is the gold nugget, if I right click with this, it will open because it's the right password. But the only trade offs with this would be that the problem is you can't, you can actually still break this chest in survival. So say I go into survival with an X slash key mode. I'm going to do, yeah, S here. And if I break this chest, it actually can break and you'll collect the chest. So that's a problem, as you can see. It's not really, um, they're still they're gonna have to keep working on that, but anyway, um, that's something you, that's gonna have to be fixed. But the thing is, if you have, if you have a, if you have the game mode in adventure mode, it won't be a problem. But I press the button and it tells you that the the chest was locked with the right password. It tells you the coordinates of, in which you locked it in. So, you're probably wondering why there's some glass over here. There's a reason to this. I'm going to show you right now. So, if I do slash game mode, game mode, if I do slash game mode adventure, I can't break glass, red zoom lamps, or any of that stuff. You could usually break in adventure mode. I changed that because some people were complaining that it was not the right idea. And I really agree with them because it's a problem that you could break this in adventure mode. Map making, you could break, you could actually grief the map, so thank god they added that. That was really a good thing to add. I'm so surprised that they actually did that, but it's, it's just a great thing to have, so so moving on, um sorry for this prop, this typo here. I always make typos. Anyway, um this command block is the last thing I want to show you. Slash kill at E. If I press the button, it kills all the entities in the world. And it even kills me because I'm considered an entity. Entity, I meant. Um, so, yeah. So that that's a pretty cool command. It actually kills every entity in your world. And it even kills the players, which is pretty amazing. And look at it says. It killed. It tells you what it killed. It killed bats, slimes, chickens, squids. Um, also, some item frames and now you can see all the item frames here are gone so yeah that's pretty much it for that uh, the crafting recipes are gone but yeah anyway I already went past them another thing I want to show you is the new enchanting system and the new furnace um, these are really cool things that they added I'm going to show you another command thing um, if I place a furnace in a enchantment table I want to show you the two new things so you're going to see me getting lapis in my inventory, and, and there's a reason for this. Now, when you enchant something, there's a different way to enchant something here. You put it in the... You can see there's a little lapis slot here. So if I go to... If I go to survival, um, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to say slash XP and mining. I'm going to I'm going to try to add three levels. Oops. Got the command out of order. Three L and my name. So now I got three levels, which is enough to enchant this. So I have to actually have lapis lazuli to enchant this. But the good thing about this is that there's actually a use for your lapis, and it's not going to fill up your chest. If I take this out, I can't enchant it. So there, right there, that tells you that you can enchant something without lapis. It can be annoying because you need more resources to enchant things now, but the thing about this is that it's so much easier 
it can be easier to get rid of your lapis because lapis can be really useless in survival. Anyway, um, the last thing I want to show you, well, actually, there's two more things I want to show you guys. Um, there's this new thing in this furnace. If I put some coal in here, I'm going to take two coal. Actually, it would because it will go down faster. So, say I'm trying to make charcoal, um, charcoal, um, I would put the fuel on the bottom and put the bark in there and it should try to smelt it up. And there's a difference with this. Once this is once this is done, it actually will it will actually save the progress from what you were smelt from the um power of the um Fuel. So now, if I put something else in there, um, let's put the same thing in there. It should save the progress. Oh, and sorry, I messed up because that's not how it works. Um, but if I have some, I messed up. Sorry for that. So if I take this out, if this smelts, if this doesn't smelt in time, it's gonna actually save the progress in which this was being smelted in. So you can see the arrows actually staying in the same place. If I put some more fuel in there, it's going to continue all where it left off and until it finishes. And it should stay on the same thing for more items. It's a really cool idea because it used to be such a waste of fuel if you ran out of fuel to use. So, Also, this is the last thing I want to show you. There are no IDs. IDs are completely gone. Say I was giving myself a command block. Watch what happens now. So if I get an ID, I have to do slash Minecraft colon command block. Now this was already added, but there's no IDs anymore. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So I have to do command underscore block to get a command block. Minecraft. Oh, sorry for that. I put command in two times. Oops. Anyway, so now if I get it it's gonna say it was given it was a command block was given to me but if I do slash give uh, 137 put my name in it's not gonna give me it says there is no such item with ID 137 because IDs are now gone and you can no longer use them so you have to use the um, the new uh, the new IDs they're not really considered IDs because they're I guess they are but they're their text now, Minecraft colon and the item. I, I actually kind of like that better because it's easier to get IDs for things, much easier. Um, so that's pretty much it for this update. I'm not sure if I forgot anything, but um, I want to show you this real quick. The slime block is, is a decoration block and the six new stones are right here at the top. So that's pretty much it. Um, sorry that I haven't been making many videos. I'm not sure why, but I just couldn't think of anything to make a video on, but now this 1.8 update's coming out. It's going to be really awesome for people to use because there are more options. And also, one more thing, there's actually lock world difficulty. So it asks you if you want to lock the difficulty, and if I press yes, I can't change the difficulty anymore. So that's another thing added. Pretty amazing. I'm really surprised at what they added. Um, and I just really, I'm really amazed by this. This is great. Um, I just can't wait till the real update because they're going to keep making new snapshots. I'm not sure if they're done, but they, they, I'm, I'm thinking they're still going to make some more because you never know what they might do. So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully there will be some more videos. This is episode 10, so so far there are 10 videos in this series. There should be more coming out over the weekend, hopefully, and that's pretty much it. So, see you soon. And...